Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up event notifications for Authentic. And this does assume you have email working. So, hang tight. As always, navigate to your Authentic instance and log in as an administrator. Click on Admin Interface. Click on Events to expand it. And click on Notification Rules. Click on Create and type in a name that makes sense for whatever you want to be notified of. For instance, I want to be notified for login events, so I'll enter Kubetonian Login Events for Group. Choose a group that you want the notifications to go to. I'm choosing Authentic Admins. For Transports, choose Default Email Transport. And choose your preference for severity. I'm choosing the alert level. And click Create. Now, click and expand your newly created rule. Click on Create and Bind Policy. Choose Event Matcher Policy and click Next. Once again, give a name that makes sense for this policy. I'm entering Kubetonian Login. Under Action, choose the event you're setting up for. Mine is Login. As of the release of this video, version 2023.6.0 is the latest and you have to enter something for client IP, app, and model, whereas the previous release you could leave these fields blank, at least for me. So I will enter ak underscore client underscore IP for client IP. Choose authentic events under the app section. Choose Event for the model, and click Next. Give it your preferred order number. I'll enter 10, then click Finish. Since I'm trying to receive notifications for all things login related, I'll repeat these steps for logouts and failures as well. So, do what you need for your situation. Now that all policies are created and bound, time to log out and test it out. I'll bring up a side-by-side -side of my Authentic instance and my email here to demonstrate the notifications. I'll first try to log in with the wrong password on purpose. which gives me a notification for a login failure in my email. Next, I will log in properly using the passwordless method. Click the link here to see how that's set up. After successful authentication, it gives me a notification for a successful login. Now let me log out. And we see another notification for the logout event. In this section of the video, I'll walk through setting up Webhook for notifications, more specifically for Discord, but similar steps can be taken to set up other apps webhooks. So in Discord, create a new personal server, or use the one you already have if you prefer. To create one, click the plus icon at the bottom of your server's list. 
Click Create My Own. Choose your preferred use for the server. I'm choosing for me and my friends. Give your server a name. I'll just keep what's pre-populated here. And click Create. Now that you're in your newly created Discord server, click the plus icon next to Text Channels. Enter a channel name that makes sense for you. For instance, I'm entering Authentic Dash Notifications. And click Create Channel. Next, click the gear icon next to your newly created channel. Then click on Integrations. Click Create Webhook. Click on Captain Hook or whatever you may have there for the webhook and customize the name to your preference. Again, I'm matching mine with the channel name, so I'm naming it Authentic Notifications. Click on Copy Webhook URL. And be sure to click on Save Changes. Click the X to escape this menu. Jump back to your Authentic instance and log back in as administrator if you aren't already. Click Admin Interface. Click and expand events. Click Notification Transports. Then click Create. Give your transport a name that makes sense. I'm entering Kubtonian Discord Webhook Transport. Depending on what you're setting up, choose your preferred webhook. So I'll be choosing webhook slack slash discord. Paste the webhook URL you copied from your Discord server earlier into the webhook URL field. If you're using Slack or Discord like I am, be sure to add the forward slash Slack at the end of the URL per the documentation. It is your preference if you want to send notification just once, which I do, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. And click Create. Now click on Notification Rules, find the rule you created, and click to edit it. Under Transports, hold Control and click on your newly created webhook transport if you want to add it as a notification source, along with email notifications. Otherwise, select it by itself. Choose your severity level and click Update. We should all be set, so let me half this window and bring up Discord. To test, I will log out of Authentic. And as expected, I received a logout notification in my Discord server notification channel. Now, I will test purposely failing to log in. Again, I receive a notification in the channel, this time for login failure. And finally, I will properly authenticate. and, as expected, received a login alert. I hope you have found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe for any other videos I upload. And thanks for watching.